Uh, welcome everybody to uh, the uh, Riot Summit um, 2020. Um, <clears throat> so uh, just in a few words for people who don't know Riot so much, uh, it's essentially three things. Uh, it's an operating system for IT devices that are too small for Linux. It's, uh, it's a free open source software ecosystem uh, of uh, various tools and libraries. And it's a lively community of uh, developers and with uh, grassroots uh, governance. Uh, so initially, we had planned to do the summit, uh, which is our annual meetup uh, for the community around Riot um, and for Floss and IoT enthusiasts uh, in Paris. Uh, but we had to uh, switch to online format like uh, many other events this year due to uh, the current pandemic that you're all aware of. And so uh, a question um, that was uh, immediate uh, after the switch was how do we uh, foster ad hoc uh, social interaction and have an adequate online experience? So uh, in order to, to, to fit best uh, the, the spirit of the right summit until like uh, this year. So um, we tried to design a, a virtual venue uh, combining uh, two tools. So uh, one which is like a very seasoned tool, uh, which is WebEx, and then the other which is Gather.town, which is a little bit uh, new. Um, some of you have already played with that. Um, yeah, so just want to highlight that we we chose to live a little bit uh, dangerously here in the sense that we're trying a rather new tool and we're going for our live presentations uh, instead of uh, 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 the um, you know the, the approach of some other conferences so far, which have been like to uh, pre-record all the talks and like have super moderated interaction where people just um, send some questions uh, in a chat and there's only the moderator in audio video uh, and the speaker. So uh, we're we're a little bit uh, living on the edge here apparently compared to uh, the norm. <laughs> for bigger conferences. So in case of issues, please uh, be patient and uh, somewhat resilient. Uh, in the last result, we created this uh, attendees mailing list. So you know, post there and you'll get some answers fast. Um, so program at a glance. Um, on day one this morning, there was a tutorial and a virtual maintainer assembly. Some of you uh, took part in that. Um, this afternoon, we have uh, a nice keynote, which will be introduced uh, soon. Um, uh, and we have a couple of sessions, uh, one on IoT security and one on IoT networking. Uh, and tomorrow uh, we have a little uh, um, uh, flexibility. Uh, so we have a number of breakout sessions that are planned already, but there's also the opportunity for you as a participant to actually call for a the, you know, additional uh, breakout session and to use our uh, the virtual facility to very easily set up uh, uh, ad hoc uh, meetings and uh, side meetings and and, size, uh, and uh, breakout sessions. So please, uh, by the end of today, if you are um, uh, if you have some ideas of a breakout session or whatever, just uh, you know we'll put a whiteboard out there and you'll be able to uh, put your information there and gather people for that. Yeah, in the afternoon tomorrow we have a, a couple of other sessions, one on energy efficiency, another on use cases before we um, close the summit. So it's a two-day event. We have a, a, a nice uh, set of, uh, of speakers that we're very much looking forward to here. Um, so uh, the other part of the summit is uh, obviously uh, the uh, ad hoc interaction between people. Um, so the way we designed this uh, with this gather.town tool, you can very easily walk in and out of WebEx uh, talks and sessions. Uh, and you can use uh, gather.town. It's great for uh, side meetings and it provides a breakout session. Uh, you can bump into people uh, before and uh, after talks. Um, and so this space is open 24 seven over two days. So um, you're uh, free to use that. Um, and for those who are curious, um, uh, somewhere uh, well hidden, there's uh, even a poker table that you can uh, use uh, with uh, your buddies to actually uh, have some fun. Um, so if there's anybody who has uh, difficulty access uh, to access this thing, uh, please let us know, uh, PM me or, or send an email to this uh, uh, attendees mailing list, right? A um, couple of words on the participation. We had uh, this year more than 150 uh, registered participants. We 
have attendees, uh, speakers from uh, four continents. Uh, we definitely want to thanks, um, thank our, our uh, uh, supporters who can help us keep this event uh, uh, running and free. Uh, so there's no charge um, and we're, um, you know, we want to keep it like that. Um, we do encourage to uh, post on social media, do share uh, whatever posts uh, you think are relevant. Uh, there's a hashtag, uh, please use this hashtag. Um, yeah, and so thanks to you to participate. Thanks to all our speakers. And um, now um, uh, Thomas will give a small recap before um, we introduce uh, and move on to, the, um, to our nice keynote. Thanks, enjoy your summit. Thanks, every, thanks, Emmanuel. Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, faintly, but we can hear you. Um, okay. Sorry. Okay. Can everybody hear me? You're a little bit so, of, of... Um, yeah. Hello, everybody from Hamburg here. Um, it's my my job today to give a brief recap on what has happening last year in in the riot community. When we look at uh, riot today, it is uh, actually known as to be the friendly operating system that is for the smaller devices. We have, we have uh, support for very small devices. It has an extremely broad hardware support today. We are close to 200 boards that run Riot. Uh, we are proud of being fully no neutral. We have no lock-in with vendors or certain hardware architectures. Uh, we are fully open, and this also goes for the community and goes for the license, which is a, a Linux-style uh, community and a Linux-style license. And we are now in the situation that 275 developers had, had uh, contributed to Riot. So, this actually gives us a, a firm ground for um, for working on IoT solutions that are not bound to any uh, any hardware or any uh, other uh, vendor. So, looking back at the history, we can be a bit proud because this is actually the, the eighth year of Riot. So, 2013 and the beginning of 2013, Riot was branded after uh, prelim preliminary work, and since then we have an impressive history of continuation. So we had 24 releases over the last years, every year four releases, and we, this is the fifth Riot Summit. So every year we have a Riot Summit, unfortunately this time online, as Emmanuel said, but next year we hope to be, uh, to be in a nice place again. So what happened since the last summit in Helsinki? We had four releases because it was a year, and that there was 2,093 PRs merged, which is much more than the year before. Uh, and they were produced by the 52 contributors. Um, what was the most exciting? I mean, there was a lot of exciting stuff, and it's, I need, need to keep it short, so I'm just highlighting very few things. So we have 42 new boards, which is a uh, which is a record. Uh, for a year, including this nice Pine Time Watch or the TT Go ESP uh, uh, platform, which is very popular, uh, and a long list of others. We did a lot of work in the in the area of networking and connecting securely between devices, including a full LoRaWAN uh, support at the, in, in our native uh, stack, the GNRC stack. We have a new 802.15.4 radio hall, which was a very nice design piece work. The IP, is, uh, the IP stack uh, develops. We have uh, fragmentation now. We have a new stack at present that is OpenWSM. We have DTLS and uh, async SOC uh, in, in, in the GNRC stack, so we can actually con uh, communicate uh, with encryption uh, over UDP. There were a couple of enhancements to be mentioned. One is the USB support and the suit updates, which is for secure firmware updates uh, conformal with the IETF working group suit. There's an important thing, which is uh, maybe not so much, um, vis has not so much be been uh, visible before. We are now supporting Lightweight M2M, which is a very important management platform in, uh, in the IoT. And I hope this will be uh, used soonish. 
We have a lot of, uh, have done a lot of work in, in our infrastructure and in quality assurance. So we improved the hill testing. This was a large discussion already in the last summit. We have a very extensive support now. We have a very extensive release automation and testing and newly introduced was fuzzing to the testing. So actually the number of uh, tests undertaken and also the bug fixing that uh, results from this has largely increased. Yeah, what's next? Well, we all want to continue collaboration for keeping an open internet and open internet of things, of open software and of open applications and protocols. And the most important thing, uh, things that are visible today is first of all, the ongoing uh, migration to kconfig. There's a huge effort currently migrating the configuration of, uh, of Riot to kconfig. And based on this, we can then actually be able to, to have a much easier access to many things, including security. And there's, of course, the, the very big topic ongoing in discussion and code uh, about timers, about the whole timer subsystem, which is closely related to energy and energy saving. So those are my highlights from the riot, and I hope you all enjoy the summit, and I'm really looking forward to this interesting program. <laughs>